Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Docker Compose server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with Docker Compose as pre-installed. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that you would be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Once the subscription validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once you are satisfied with these settings, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be brought to this page from where you have two different launch options. You can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this opens up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as Docker and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Then scroll down even more and choose the instance type of the virtual machine according to your requirements. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the RDP connection of our virtual machine. And then you can leave the network settings as default and then when you're satisfied with all of these settings simply click on launch instance. Then you need to wait for the instance to be deployed. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this simply click on view all instances. In here you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. Now you need to wait for it to change its state from pending to running. Once the virtual machine is in the running state, simply right click on it and then choose connect. And then you would be brought to this page from where you need to click on this RDP client tab. And in here as you can see that we have the public DNS, we have the username but we do not have the password. So to get the password, simply click on get password and then it is going to ask you to upload the associated key pair with this instant. So click on browse and locate your key pair. Once that is done, simply click on decrypt password and then you would be redirected back to this page and now you have the password as well. Now to establish an RDP connection, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and in here you're going to copy the public DNS and paste it in front of this computer field. And then you're going to copy this username, come back to the remote desktop connection, click on show options and then paste it in front of this username field and then click on connect. And then it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password and paste it inside this field and then click on OK. And then it is going to ask you one more time that you're going to establish an RDP connection. So click on yes and wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been fully established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can start using Docker Compose. Now to use Docker Compose, you need to access either the command prompt or the PowerShell which have been both placed on the desktop for your convenience. The very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to verify the version of Docker Compose. So open up the PowerShell and simply type in docker-compose space version and then hit enter. And then it is going to show you the version of Docker Compose as it says 1.29.2. Even though Docker Compose has been installed within this image, you still need to install Docker Engine. Now to install Docker Engine, the very first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to open up this PowerShell by right clicking on it and then clicking on run as administrator. And then you're going to click the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post guide. And from here, you're simply going to copy these lines. Once you have done that, you are going to head it back inside the connection and then you are going to right click within this PowerShell to paste those commands and start executing. So you need to be patient and wait for the installation process to fully complete. On this last command, which is start service space docker, you might get an error like this one. But worry not, you just have to restart your virtual machine. So to restart your virtual machine, simply exit from this remote desktop connection, head back over to this page, go to instances, right click on it and then click on reboot instance and then click on reboot to confirm it. And then you just need to simply wait for the rebooting process to finish. Now, once the virtual machine has been rebooted, you need to connect to it again. Now once you're back inside the virtual machine, so open up the PowerShell as an administrator and then type in the command start-service-docker 
And as you can see that this time around we did not get any errors. So now you can start using Docker Compose. Now the next thing that we are going to show you is how to run a hello world application template from Docker Compose. Now to do this, open up the file explorer, head inside this PC, then head inside the C drive and in here you're going to create a folder for your project. So I'm going to name it as project as well and then hit enter and head inside it. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to hit windows and type in notepad. Open up the notepad, click on file and then save as and then you're going to head inside this project folder and then you're going to change the extension from text document to all files and you're going to name this file as docker-compose.yaml file and then save. Now within this yaml file, we are going to copy some of the commands from the blog post. So open up the blog post, come to this section and according to the version of Windows Server that you're running, copy the commands and paste them inside this yaml file and then exit and hit save. Now what you're going to do is that you are again going to open up the PowerShell as an administrator. Then you're going to use the cd command to head inside the project folder. So it's cd then c colon slash project and then slash again and then hit enter. Once inside this folder, you want to execute the docker compose command. So the command is docker hyphen compose space up and then hit enter. After doing so, you need to wait for a little while so that it pulls the hello world template and executes it within this PowerShell. As you can see within this PowerShell that it says hello from docker, this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. So this is the hello world application from docker compose. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for AWS and also for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up docker compose on AWS. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.